Hi, this is just another quick video. I figure you get sick of seeing my face. I get sick of seeing my face, and I certainly get sick of messing with the camera. This is just a quick video on 1 John 1 9. There's a point that I didn't make much about in my other video, so I'm going to make it here. You have to use 1 John 1 9 or you don't grow spiritually, okay? If you don't use the verse, you don't grow spiritually. That's real important. I'm having trouble with this thing getting to see me. If you don't use the verse, you don't grow spiritually. God will punish you for not using the verse. Now, if you use the verse, that doesn't mean that you get away with scot-free whatever you did wrong. Just as when you punish your kids, you say to them first, did you do wrong, Johnny? And Johnny has to admit that he did wrong or he gets a worse punishment than if he didn't, you know, than if he did admit it. You see? That teaches Johnny something. See, if you do something wrong, if you do something wrong, then it means that you didn't learn something you needed to learn. So the punishment is to help you learn not to do it again. Like you spank a dog when he pees on the carpet. And the dog feels real bad about it. And, and you can actually train a dog to do this. And the dog will know. He'll come to a point where when he goes to pee on the carpet, he'll get real sheepish and he'll know he did a bad thing and he'll, you know, he'll drop his tail and he'll look at you and he'll hang his head because that's his shame showing. He's admitting he sinned. Okay, but there still has to be a kind of punishment to train him so that he doesn't go to that far the next time. You got that? So when you use 1 John 1 9, it's so that you can grow spiritually and don't die a retard. It's to get back into fellowship with God. If you don't admit your sin, that you sinned, you're not in fellowship with God. The Holy Spirit is not filling you. And that's why so many Christians are unable to read the Bible correctly. If you don't want to be embarrassed by how badly you read the Bible, Use 1 John 1 9. And if you don't, you will become incompetent at reading the Bible almost immediately. Just like Adam, when he first sinned, he forgot everything he knew about God. Everything. And he went and hid in the very tree he was eating from. He was suddenly afraid of God. Why? Okay? The same day that he sinned. He had all those memories of God and the minute he sins he can't use those memories anymore. He became incompetent. So if you want to be competent at reading Bible, if you want to be in fellowship with God and filled with the Holy Spirit, use 1 John 1 9. And then on whatever sin you sinned, God knows how to train you, remedial training, to get you past that bad habit. But you'll never get past that bad habit if you don't use 1 John 1 9. Peace out. Uh.